Reacting to my predictions from the Europa League, Conference League, and Champions League knockout stages so far. These predictions are always fun videos to make, but I haven't done any reactions so far. So let's rewind and talk about it all. Before we get going, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my longer videos. Let's start with the Europa League and the knockout round. Feyenoord versus Roma. I picked Feyenoord. These two teams have some history. Honestly, I just expected Feyenoord to have the upper hand this time. Not too sure why. In reality, this was a really close tie. It finished 2-2 on aggregate. Roma won on penalties. Still think it was a decent pick, just the wrong result. Galatasaray versus Sparta Praha. I picked Galatasaray. The Turkish league has been very tight this year. Galatasaray are fighting for the title. You know, I thought they'd be able to do it. Sparta Praha, they proved me wrong, winning 6-4 on aggregates the checks going through to the next round so far two picks both wrong. Shakhtar Donetsk versus Marseille. I thought Shakhtar would be able to use that home advantage that they've had in Hamburg. They've been playing at the Volkspark Stadion, obviously not playing in Donetsk. In reality, Marseille won this one 5-3 on aggregate. The French side coming out on top. Maybe you should have seen that coming. Three picks, three that were wrong. Let's keep going. BSC Young Boys versus Sporting CP. I picked the Portuguese side to come out on top versus the Swiss, and they did just that. Sporting won 4-2 on aggregate against young boys. AC Milan versus Ren. I picked Milan and that's what happened. Milan winning this tie. It's getting better. Three wrong, two correct. So getting somewhere. Benfica versus Toulouse. I saw Toulouse go to Anfield. They got thumped, but I was actually kind of impressed by them. I don't know why. So I picked Toulouse. I should have expected to lose my pick on this one because Benfica won two to one on aggregate. Braga versus Karavag. This was one of the craziest ties. Karavag, great story in the Europa League this year. One of the competition's smallest clubs in terms of resources. Their budget is tiny compared to a lot of these other clubs. They're from Baku in Azerbaijan, if you're not familiar with them. Picked Karabakh, raised some eyebrows, and I think they surprised a lot of people. They actually beat Braga 6-5 to five on aggregate. Crazy set of two games, and they went through to the next round. So, four wrong, three right. And the last tie of the knockout round was Lens versus Freiburg. Lens dropping down out of the Champions League. I thought they were a decent side in the Champions League, so I expected them to come out on top over Freiburg. That wasn't the case. Freiburg won this one 3-2 two on aggregate. For the knockout section, I got five picks wrong. That means three picks right. Knockouts were rough. Only three of them correct. A lot of these were close games though. On to the round of 16. Let's see if it improves. Sparta Praha versus Liverpool. This one was a bloodbath. Liverpool won 11 to two on aggregate. I picked Liverpool and yeah, that one was correct. Marseille versus Villarreal. I guess I learned my lesson with Marseille last time. They got out to a big lead in the first leg. Villarreal nearly brought it back a late Marseille goal. Goal, put the tie to bed. French winning 5-3 to three on aggregate. Got that one right, so two picks correct so far this time. AS Roma versus Brighton and Hove Albion. I picked Brighton. I don't know what I was thinking. Roma thumped them. Won the first leg 4-0. Second leg finished 1-0 to Brighton, but it was all settled after the first leg. Roma winning 4-1 to one on aggregate. Benfica versus Rangers. I guess I learned my lesson with Benfica in the last round. They went through and kind of impressed me, so I picked them this time against Rangers. This tie was very close. Benfica came out on top 3-2 to two on aggregate. Round of 16 shaping up decent so far. Only one wrong and three correct. Freiburg versus West Ham. I picked against Freiburg again. I picked West Ham after the run in the Conference League last year, winning it all. I feel like West Ham, they kind of just are focusing on Europe. That's the chance they have to go for glory. Hey, you may as well. It's a good strategy, I would say. And West Ham thumped Freiburg 5-1 on aggregate. That means four correct, one incorrect. Sporting CP versus Atalanta. Somebody asked me, what merit are you picking Atalanta on? I tried to explain some of my reasoning in this predictions reaction. I'll let you be the judge. I just picked Atalanta. It was very close, not a lot to separate them. That's kind of how we saw it play out on the pitch as well. Atalanta taking this one 3-2 on aggregate against Sporting. Five right, one wrong. AC Milan versus Slavia Praha. I picked against the checks again. Sorry, no offense, I just had to do it this time. Milan ran out big winner, 7-3 on aggregate. Don't have enough fingers, but that's six right, only one wrong. And possibly the craziest tie of the Europa League round of 16. Karabag versus Bayer Leverkusen. Was talking about Karabag earlier. They had Leverkusen on the ropes. Both games, they took a 2-0 lead. Both games, Leverkusen battled it back late, scoring into stoppage time. 
leg two at the Bay Arena. They were down 2-1 entering the 90th minute and Leverkusen turned it around 1-3-2. Crazy couple of games. I turned it around in the round of 16 as well with a 7-1 record. We did much better there. Only got one wrong, the Brighton pick. So far, 10-6 overall record after a very slow start. On to the Conference League. Knockout round, Molda versus Legia Warsaw. I picked Legia Warsaw and I couldn't have been more wrong. Molda, very impressive winning this one 6-2 on aggregate. Olympiacos versus Ferenc Varos. I hope I said that right. I think that's how someone told me to say it in the pronunciations video. Picked Olympiakos. That was the result. They won this tie 2-0 on aggregate. Sturm Graz versus Slovan Bratislava. I picked Slovan to go through here. Sturm Graz, they were out to teach me a lesson apparently. The Austrian side winning 5-1 on aggregate. So far, not so good in the Conference League. Only one correct, two incorrect. Royal Union saint gilles versus Eintracht Frankfurt. I picked Frankfurt. They They've been doing okay in the Bundesliga, kind of up and down this year. Royal Union, they are first in Belgium. Should have picked them because I was incorrect picking Eintracht. It was Royal Union saint gilles -Vos with a victory 4-3 on aggregate. So only one right and three wrong so far in this section. Ajax versus Budo Glimt. Everyone was laughing at me because I was wearing an Ajax shirt but picked Budo Glimt. Ajax only won this one 4-3 on aggregate. They have been struggling this season. Could have won to penalties if not for a very late Ajax goal. I think we all came away impressed with Budo Glimt though. All right, that's only one right and four wrong for me so far. Maccabi Haifa versus Ghent. I picked Ghent. In reality, it was Maccabi Haifa with a 2-1 victory on aggregate. And yes, the wrong logo was used in the edit for Kent. Sorry, I didn't catch that one. My apologies. One right, five wrong. Real Betis versus Dinamo Zagreb. I picked Betis. In reality, it was Dinamo Zagreb that advanced with a 2-1 aggregate victory. Zagreb won at the Estadio Benito Villa Marin in Sevilla. And then a draw at home was enough to progress. Another one wrong for me. One and six in this section. Servette versus Ludogorets. I don't think it gets any better for me. I picked Ludogorets. Apparently, Servette Servette's games don't have any goals. This one was 1-0 on aggregate with Servette going through. Pretty close set of two games. Only one goal to separate the sides. And only one pick correct for me in the knockout round section. One and seven. Only one correct. Somehow it's a little hard to believe. I know I was taking some chances with risky picks, but yikes. That takes the overall record below 500 to 11 and 13. On to the round of 16. Servette versus Victoria Pilsen. Like I said, Servette's games don't have goals. This tie finished nil-nil over two legs, but it was Pilsen who progressed in the shootout. First win of the round of 16. Molde versus Club Brugge. I picked Molde after they performed well last round, but it was Club Brugge that came away with a victory. Four to two on aggregate. One and one. Royal Union San Gilles. I just wasn't trusting them against Fenerbahce. I picked Fenerbahce and Fenerbahce came up with a 3-1 win on aggregate. They actually won three nil in Brussels. Very impressive. That big win spurred them on into the quarterfinals. Dinamo Zagreb versus Pauk. I picked Pauk. Zagreb fans were not happy. Pauk won this one 5-3. After the first leg, Zagreb took a 2-0 lead back to Greece, but Pauk won the home leg 5-1. Sturm Graz versus Lille. I guess Sturm Graz impressed me in the knockout round, so I picked them to beat Lille. It was the wrong pick. Lille won 4-1 on aggregate. Should have picked Sturm Graz the round before. Lille progressed, meaning I have three correct, two incorrect. Maccabi Haifa versus Fiorentina. I picked Fiorentina. Fiorentina won 5-4 on aggregate. This was one of the best ties of the round. 4-3 in the first leg. It was a wild one with the Italians coming out on top. And that means I am 4-2 and two so far in this section. Olympiacos versus Maccabi Tel Aviv. I went with Olympiacos again. This was another crazy tie. Olympiacos won 7-5 on aggregate. Goals galore in this one. Tel Aviv took a 4-1 lead after the first leg, which was actually at Olympiacos. But the second leg with the Greeks playing away from home, they won 6-1. Completely flipped the script. This one went to extra time where they finished it off and advanced to the quarterfinals. Five wins, two losses for me so far in this section. Ajax versus Aston Villa. How was I not going to pick Aston Villa? Obviously, it was going to be Aston Villa. Aston Villa winning this one 4-0. Massive victory for Villa. A subdued first leg in Amsterdam sent it back to Villa Park scoreless, and that's exactly what Unai Emery wanted. Villa made the most of it to advance to the quarterfinals. All right, my Conference League round of 16 record is now 6-2. Not bad. Had to balance it out a bit there. Overall record 17 and 15. 
on to the Champions League. The Champions League doesn't have a separate knockout round. It just goes into the round of 16 this year. They're changing the format next year, so it's going to be a little bit of a different video next year. Let's see if my picks can be separated here. Copenhagen versus Man City. I picked Man City, and it was Man City who won this tie 6-2. to two fairly comprehensive in Copenhagen over the Danes. Think City were always going to go through there. Abbe Leipzig versus Real Madrid. I picked Real Madrid. It seemed like the easy pick. I think pretty much everyone was picking Madrid, but in reality, it was only two to one on aggregate. Like I said, many of us saw Real Madrid as a lock, but Leipzig pushed the record champions all the way. Could have won, could have at least sent it to extra time. Nothing to be ashamed of, but Madrid went through. PSG versus Real Sociedad. I picked La Real. In reality, PSG were too much for Real Sociedad, winning four to one on aggregate. La Real impressed me in the group stage, but Sociedad have cooled off in the new year. And PSG were just a class above in the tie. Kylian Mbappe putting things out of reach. So two right, one wrong on the Champions League so far. Lazio versus FC Bayern. I picked Bayern. Bayern won three to one on aggregate. Lazio made it interesting with a 1-0 victory in the first leg at home, but Bayern are throwing everything they have at the Champions League and were able to turn the tie around in the second leg with a 3-0 win in Munich. Inter versus Atletico de Madrid. I picked Inter, but actually it was Atleti who progressed after a 2-2 after extra time result. It went to penalties. Atleti showed they had the medal. Inter conceded it was Memphis Depay scoring in the 87th minute of the second leg to force extra time. And it all culminated in a dramatic shootout where Atleti made the most of the home crowd to seize the moment, win the penalty shootout, and advance to the quarterfinals. That means last season's runners up were eliminated. PSV versus Borussia Dortmund. I picked PSV, but actually it was Dortmund who won this tie 3 1. PSV entered the tie unbeaten, and no one has come close to them in the Eredivisie this season. Dortmund Dortmund have been hot and cold, but their star power pushed them through, especially in the second leg. FC Porto versus Arsenal. I picked Arsenal, and Arsenal won this one. It was 1-1 at the end of regulation in the second leg. Went to extra time, went to penalties. Very dramatic. Arsenal coming out on top at the Emirates after a shootout victory. Napoli versus FC Barcelona. I picked Napoli. It was Barcelona who came out on top 4-2 on aggregate after the two legs. First leg in Naples finished 1-1. Barca seized control of the second leg at home, won that 3-1, comprehensive 4-2 victory, advancing to the quarterfinals. Champions League record, four correct, four incorrect. Pretty even, literally. Wasn't sure about some of these picks. Uh, some of you seem pretty sure, so let me know how your picks did. Overall though, we came out on top with a record of 21 and 19 so far throughout the knockout stages. Ultimately, that means we came out ahead in the 40 European knockout fixtures that have been played so far. Hopefully I can recapture that magic from last year when I correctly picked the entire Europa League bracket from the quarterfinals to the winner. Can't wait to pick the next round. I always try to have fun with these predictions and pick some upsets, not just picking the easy favorites. Thanks for watching and supporting the content. How have your picks been doing? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, Footy Fam. A special thanks to the VIPs and Ultras who are paid subscribers on the Footy Fam Patreon. This video wouldn't be possible without your support. If you want to see your name in the credits and get other awesome perks like BTS content and more, make sure to subscribe via the link in the description.